Well, so there was that was a whole lot of rules and properties which must, might have left you a little confused. So let's have a quick recap of whatever we learned as far as the properties go. So we have subtracting and adding same number does not alter the inequation. So let's take, so just a simple example, you have done say x plus 5 is less than uh, 2x plus 7. So you want to subtract 5 from both sides, which means that in effect means you're taking this to the side and this to the side, you're just transposing it. So let's understand in effect what it means. So you're doing x minus 2x and here it is 7 minus 5 and the inequality continues to remain the same which means that it turns to minus x less than 7 minus 5 2 right so this particular thing you have minus x less than equal less than 2 so this is a simple case that when you're adding the same number to both sides you, that means you just transposed it this way addition or subtraction the inequality does not change now considering the same thing division or multiplication by a positive again does not alter the inequation. So the same case say minus x is less than 2. So we do subtract suppose by chance we need to solve it and we multiply both sides by the same positive number say by 2 or you divide by the same positive number. So you have say minus x by 4 and here you are doing 2 by 4 which is the same so minus x by 4 continues to remain less than 2 by 4 but in the same example now we summarize it as I told you are dividing or multiplying by a negative number now we need to solve this when you are solving it we want to find out the values of x which will satisfy the inequation not the value of minus x so we have minus x less than 2. So we have not yet reached a closure for this inequation. Hence, to make this minus, we take the minus 1 to the other side. But taking the minus 1 to the other side is the same as either multiplying or dividing. Hence, in that case, x, you take it to the other side or you divide that. So you get minus 2 and it does not remain less than. It becomes greater than. So x is now greater than minus 2 when minus x is less than 2. So this is what we did in the previous examples. And a recap of the reciprocal relationship. If you have a number, say 9, we know 9 is greater than 5. But 1 by 9 is less than 1 by 5. Remember the example of the apples I told. 1 ninth of 1 apple is definitely less than 1 fifth of an apple. But similarly, you have uh, minus 9 less than minus 5. We know that. And we have this thing. But when it comes to the reciprocal, you have 1 upon minus 9, which is same as minus 1 by 9, and minus 1 by 5, and the inequation changes. So hence, when both the numbers are positive or both the numbers are negative, when we take the reciprocals, the reciprocals have an opposite relationship of inequation. But let's take this case 9 greater than minus 5. And let's take 1 by 9 and minus, minus 1 by 5. Here we don't have to think much. Actually speaking, these rules are not too complicated. Example, this one is an extremely simple rule. This continues to remain a positive number. This continues to remain a negative number. So the positive number has to be bigger than the negative number. Hence, this is a simple sum for summary of all the common properties we do. Don't worry, we'll be doing more examples so that it gets into your system as to how to do these kind of cases.